In Creole Parametric, you can use layer states to capture the visibility status of your layers. This is especially convenient in multi-body parts. Here I have a part open, it has 13 bodies. To start off, I am going to create a layer state where I'm only seeing the bodies. To do that, I will first click on the layer tree icon from the model tree. You can also show your layers from the view tab. And when I do that, right now, everything is being displayed, including surfaces, sketches, datum planes, everything. And to show only the bodies, I have two layers that contain just the solid body. So I'm going to select those two layers with the control key. Then I can go to my layer operations icon and isolate those two layers. And now I'm only seeing the solid bodies. Now that I have the visibility settings applied to the layers, I can close the layer tree and then go to the view manager. That is the icon that looks like a camera on a sheet of paper. You can get to it from the view tab or the in graphics toolbar. So I will click on the view manager and now I will go to the layers tab. There are no default layer states in your models. So I'm going to click on the new button to create a brand new layer state. And I will call this model only and hit the enter key. And now my layer state is created. I can apply this layer state to one of my combination states. I will go to the all tab. And here at the top, we have a combination state called zero model only. I will right click on the combination state and choose edit definition. And I decide that I'm going to change the layers from the default, which is most recently used layer state. And I'm going to choose the one that I just created from the dropdown list. Now I will click the OK button and I have the layer state applied to the combination state. And let's create one more layer state. And I decide that for the work that I'm going to be doing this week, it would be convenient to see the exterior components and the default datum planes. So let me go back to my layer tree. And this time I'll just start off by showing everything and then repaint. And now let's see, I just want to, actually I want to hide everything. Let's start off by hiding everything. And now I'm going to select the layers that I do want to see, the external components. Let me hit the show button and the default datums. Let me show that as well. And so that will help me for the design work that I am doing. Let me close the layer tree. Once again, I will go back to the view manager. Let me get to it from the view tab this time. Here we have the command and I will click on the layers tab. And you'll notice that model only has a plus sign in parentheses. Well, that means that I had a layer state that was active and then I made some changes to visibility settings. So I could save these in that uh, layer state or I could create a brand new one. And when I click on the new button, it asks me if I wanna save my changes first. Nope, I wanna leave model only the way that it was. And I will call this working for to indicate to myself that's what I am working on this week. And you can easily toggle between your different layer states by double clicking on them. So that's good, I'm happy, let me close the view manager. And that is how you can use layer states in a part model.